Right now, we're going to explain this concept of basically why does a series triangle point up and a parallel triangle point down? So it has to do with what is my reference, what is my constant in a circuit, and what does that mean for the inductor if the voltage leads the current? So we've seen that the voltage leads the current. We say Eli for that. When we get the capacitors in AC3, we'll find it backwards, it's ice. So the L here stands for inductor, L for inductance, C for capacitor, okay? Just wanna clarify that the L is for um, inductor, not for lead or lag. But you see how the E comes first? E is first, current is after. So that's why across an inductor, if that were the voltage, the current would be coming in 90 degrees later. Voltage starts going up at zero degrees, current goes up starting at 90 degrees. And they go th That's a pure inductor, okay? A resistor, they would be in phase. So when I have a series circuit, right? we could put uh, different components in there. When I have a series circuit, I know that what is my constant? What is my reference? What is the same in all parts of the circuit? Is my current. Doesn't matter if it's my total current, my resistive current, or my uh, inductive current. It's going to be the same in all components, and it's going to be equal. That's why that's my reference. When we start here, because electrically speaking, that's my zero degree line. Up here, 90 degrees. Down here, I've got negative 90 degrees. Leading would be up here. Lagging would be down here. So, what component has its voltage in phase with the current? And that would be the voltage of the resistor, the resistive voltage. Now the inductor, 90 degrees, and because of Eli, the voltage leads. The voltage comes first, current comes after. So if the current here is on the zero degree line, voltage has to be ahead of the game. It's gotta be up at 90. So the voltage on the inductor is up here. And that's why in the last videos we used Pythagoras, right triangles to add this stuff. And what that means, if I have this amount of inductive voltage, voltage drop on the inductor seems to be greater than the resistor, I'm gonna end up with a combined total right out there. That's gonna be my E total. The reason my triangle ended up being right in here was because this is the angle I'm looking for. That's the phase angle of the total circuit. The resistive is in phase, zero degrees. The inductive at 90. When I have both components, I end up somewhere in between. And this one's rather steep because there's more voltage drop on the inductor than there is on the resistor. But the reason we do the triangle that way is the same example of if I leave my house and I go three steps, I don't come back here and go four steps north. I go my three steps east and then four steps north. And I do Pythagoras and I find out I'm five steps away from home if I just walked across the lawn. Okay. So that's why we end up with a triangle that looks this way. So we would take this vector and the vertical vector and end up with the hypotenuse being the total circuit value. Resistive, inductive, total. And that's Eli. For an inductor, L stands for inductance, voltage first, current second. This, my friends, is series. Now let's look over here at parallel because we're gonna be jumping into some parallel circuits as well. So we've got to consider what are they going to look like? And we drew the series circuits with their triangles pointing up. Now, 
in the parallel, if I've got a parallel circuit, I know I can have different currents down each branch. So the currents aren't the same everywhere, but what is the same on each branch? The voltage. So guess what happens here? Since the voltage is the same, it becomes my reference. And that's going to include my total voltage, my resistive voltage, and my inductive voltages. They're all on the reference sheet. You'll notice your vector sheet shows them all pointing in the same direction. That means they're all in phase. They're all on the zero, zero degree line. And we'll draw that, zero degrees. Again, we'll put 90 degrees up there. That's a head 90. And we've got a negative 90 hanging down here. Now, in this case, if the voltages are all the same, I guess the currents are going to be out of phase in, uh, in the parallel. So which current, my friends, is going to be in phase with the voltage? Is it the current at the total of the circuit, at the source? Is it the current on the resistor? Or is it the current on the inductor? Well, it's going to be the resistor because those are always in phase. That's my true power. So I'm going to go current for my resistor. Now, if I get to the inductor, current for the inductor, just like here, it's the inductor that was out of whack. Here, the inductor's current's going to be out of whack. But where's it going to be? It's Eli. It's again Eli. And that means that the voltage comes first and the current is following. If the voltage is already at zero, right? All the voltages are there, the voltage over the inductor. Well, if it's at zero and the current is behind it by 90 degrees, it's gonna have to be down here at negative 90. My inductive current. And so my total, my total current is gonna be there. So when we do parallel circuits, we're gonna find that my voltages are the same on every branch, but my resistive branch is gonna have a certain current. My inductive branch is gonna have a certain current. And guess how I add them together? I go this vector, and then I start the next vector, which is pointing in that direction down, right? That whole head to tail thing. I go this way, and then I go down here, and that's where I end up. So this, my friends, will be my total current will be a Pythagoras, a vector addition, if you will, of the resistive current and the inductive current. So that's why our triangle with the series will point up and our current triangle will point down. It's a matter of reference. Here, in a series circuit, my current is constant, my current is the reference. In a parallel circuit, my voltage is constant on every branch. So my voltage is the reference. The inductive current will be off. Notice that the resistive is always in right line with it. That's because your two sine waves, if these are the cups of the sine wave, in a resistor, match up. The reactive components where they're off. Here they match up. So in a nutshell, that's the basis when we talk about current is the reference. That's because it's constant in a series. It's the same. Voltage is the reference. It's on the zero line. It's on the reference line, the horizontal line. Because in a parallel circuit, voltage is constant.